In this tutorial, we will teach you how to find the commands you need and how to use the Backstage View or the File tab in Excel. In Excel 2010, there is a ribbon bar instead of drop-down menus like that in the previous version. However, it is somewhat similar as that in Excel 2007. There are eight tabs in the ribbon bar, and it starts with the Home tab, all the way to the View tab. The Home tab contains the basic options, and the Insert tab next to it lets you enter pictures and tables. The Page Layout tab helps you choose how you want your page layout to look. The Formula tab contains all the formulas and functions needed to perform an action in Excel. The next tab, that is the Data tab, deals with connecting to databases, etc. The Review tab allows you to share stuff with others, and the last one, that is the View tab, allows you to alter how you view your page. There is a small button known as the Launcher, which is present in some of the groups within different tabs. When you click on it, it shows you a small window. Clicking on the Number Group Launcher will launch the Format Cells tab. The ribbon bar can be accessed through another way. That is by pressing the Alt key, and mnemonics will be shown to you in the ribbon bar. Over here we press the N key, and it took us to the Insert Options. The Backstage View can be accessed by clicking on the File tab. Excel has the option of remembering the last 50 files which were opened and shows the recent places from where they were opened. You can also pin and unpin the files. If you pin a file, then you can access them easily. You can pin a file by clicking on the push pin and the file is pinned or unpinned. If you click on the info option, then all the information regarding the particular file will be shown to you and you can change the permission rights, etc. from here. If you click on New, Excel shows you various templates and new files can be created from here. When you go to Print, you will see that it contains information regarding printing. Once you exit, Excel gives you the option to save the changes you've made. This was a basic tour of Excel 2010. It will help if you open it yourself and start exploring it.